Hello and welcome to Warblog. Today I'm going to play the recapture of Michele, Ethiopia, the Tigray conflict. This came out of the blue. I was just sort of, you know, just doing my thing and suddenly I noticed that they've taken Michele back and, and a couple of other places. And you can read about it on these two links here and there's a bit here about one of the other sort of forces involved, but I kept it quite quick just to sort of um, make it quick. So I'm just going to sort of play. So essentially they're um, doing things. Um, That shouldn't be there, not at all. Right, let me just deal with these two units. Five. Oh, that should be sorted by the start again. Recapture of Melee McKelly. So. Let me get the drawing tool out. So essentially we've got a little front there with just some artillery. <laughs> Not ideally placed. A little front here, a little front there, a little front here, and here. And here, not much that we can do really. They've not got anything motorized, so they're not going to be moving very fast, which might be a bit frustrating actually. Lots of artillery over here on its own. I don't know what's going on there. In fact, this is such stupid placement. <laughs> I think I'm going to do something about it now. Um, Let me do something about it. Right, so I've um, done something about that. I have to start again. Oh look, we got <laughs> we got some troops supporting the artillery. All the wildest things we could do. Right. Okay. I'm not going to do too much thinking here, but I think we've got to be delicate about the approach. I think here we can consolidate these forces. We can consolidate this. <laughs> consolidate him on his own at all. And they can't really do much. We've got to consolidate these ones. So where does he go? I think he can put some pressure directly on there. How far can we move? Two in the desert. That's okay. I went to do rockets, but I didn't have any, so I left them. What do we want to do with this unit? Let's take him straight down here. And that's it. The computer seems to be sort of 
in a world of its own at the moment. It's a hundred percent hard drive use for some reason. I don't know why. Right. They know that the um the Tigray whoever they are, the, these people, the, the Tigray People's Liberation Front are on their way, but they're not too concerned, I don't think. Although I did put a lot of police in just for the hell of it, just to sort of make up the numbers. But I'm not sure that we're really going to um, be too concerned. I mean, we can almost face these people off. We can almost attack those. We can almost sort of try to do something there, but we're a bit sort of, probably a bit more concerned about this. And possibly this. I'm a bit concerned about attacking it. On their own. But I think we might as well. An exchange. Yeah, that wasn't very good. And we're going to attack here as well. How much have they got left? So they can only move one. An attack or retreat. Right, move back. I'm going to leave everything else as it is. Right, so they didn't have to lose both those battles, but they did. Oh look, there's quite a lot more coming on. That looks a little more like it. And they weren't expecting that. Artillery. Ooh, three damage, but they're mechanized so that was only a, a not so much um and less attack so this will be like three to one four to one because they're they've already down a bit and we've got a de with a dice roller two so we're doing quite well there which we can move but they're on they've got to be on the run now Five to one, isn't it? I think this is my browser just being a bit slow. DR. No, I'm not going to use the artillery yet because I want to move it as near as possible. They should be down a bit because they got a DR before AR. We'll give them a, another retreat, but nothing brilliant. So we're all moved up there, that's it. Just tides are turning. Okay, well, we definitely don't want to sit, sit out there anymore. Hopefully, we might be able to recover. Should have gone maybe into there. Okay, let's protect the road and the airport.
Getting onto the roads I think is going to be important, especially for the artillery. We should have, oh, have we moved him? Pretty sure we fired him. So why does it look as though we can move him? Hmm, interesting. Okay. Oh, that's right, because <laughs> it was their turn. Uh, this is interesting actually. Interesting. I want to get this stuff onto the road as quickly as possible because it's just otherwise going to take so long to do anything. Two turns and he'll be on the road. Definitely got to start moving them forward. I don't know why I keep trying. I know they can only move one hex. It's just wishful thinking, really. They can get him onto a track. That might help. Right. Can we actually do something now? I don't know if you can hear my computer, but it's going, the fan is on, and it's got that hard disk sound. No effect. An exchange, oh dear. But they don't get the exchange, do they? Or did they? Yeah, depression one, depression two. Okay, so we didn't do so well there. Only police. Right. What we're going to do is I'm going to sweep down this way as opposed to going that way. And we eliminated him.
Okay. Got to get them in the open. See what we can do here. Exchange. It can be worth eight. Hmm. Interesting. I think I might I should maybe put in a few more of these guys. I probably will, just just two more to make it interesting. Because they can we 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 can contend with them once they're in, in the open, but once they get into here they're worth eight in defence. That's staggering. Whereas out here they're a bit weak. But we don't have the mobility and that's the thing and they have sort of quite a lot of numbers really. I'm not going to play anymore. Um, I just wanted to make a quick video because I haven't brought one up for a while. And because uh, this sort of popped up out of the blue and um, I hope to get it be a little more frequent. But um one of the things I did notice really is something else or on a different sort of perspective but it's taking 18 minutes to do this and quite often I'll play for the entire hour and without really noticing it and 18 minutes has just gone by like that Oof. but I have been doing some other videos on it in another sort of thing and the videos there are produced take a bit more effort and time and they're nothing special but they typically between two and six minutes long and it takes quite a bit of time to do, to do that and I've always known this but it's so easy to make a 20 minute video an hour video when you're playing a game it's just so simple it's incredible I must have thousands of hours on YouTube of me doing these videos and it's been effortless obviously you have to make the game in the first place um, but yeah it's sort of it's quite an interesting perspective really um, but yeah, yeah, I'm gonna sort of try and be a little more um, frequent with my updates and things. I have been a bit um, a bit behind on things for a whole bunch of reasons. But um, when I saw this, I thought I have to do it. And there's loads more. I keep looking at the south front site every day and thinking, oh, it's not really a big one. It's not really a big one, you know. It's this and that, you know, more of this or buckle or I'm raiding a base or something. But this one just seems, and there's two other situations on here that I wanted to cover. I had to, you know, <laughs> be asleep now. Um, so we're going to call it, make make it quick. But hopefully, yeah, I will be doing more. So stay tuned. Speak later. Cheerio.